Let's go over the settings. We're going to be on Nomad, 60 minutes for a 24-hour cycle. 18 of those 24 hours are going to be daylight, so we'll have six, so it will be nighttime. Seven-day blood moon frequency. The zombies will walk during the day. They will sprint at night, and they'll sprint if they're feral. And, of course, during a blood moon, 100% XP multiplier. We're going to get rid of the uh, loot respawn time. We'll find loot as we go in new places. 64 enemies during a blood moon count. Whoa! Airdrop every three days, no cheat mode. And I want to make sure I covered those because I have not played this game more than just the one time where I've played it through for 35 hours. I'm on day 35 on a different playthrough. I've never played the game before that. And so really, this is the first time. Now, I died 23 times in those 35 days. That's a lot. The longest I imagined to survive was a little bit over 11 days at one period of time. And then I got slaughtered by a zillion zombies that jumped in while I was doing something silly while I was mining in a hole and didn't even think that during the day all of a sudden seven eight or more zombies would just fall in the hole with me and uh devastate me so they stunned me wasn't much i could do i couldn't get out so uh i died anyways the entire series will be on permadeath so if i die once it's over so we'll keep that in mind as i'm playing i'm gonna do everything i can to not die during this series now we're gonna get these tasks done as quickly as we possibly can because we got to get over to the mortuary if you've seen the trailer you know what i'm talking about if you haven't seen the trailer go check out the trailer it shows why this is called the mortuary this is our character he looks just like me oh my god <laughs> good lord gotta gather more wood let's let's just chop down some stuff huh oh god there's a zombie right there dude oh here he comes oh geez all right well first zombie they're not dead until you get the experience for him in the bottom right hand corner 400 experience he's dead go back to the street and finish it should give us quite a bit of wood we're at 9 30 a.m by 2200 which is 10 o'clock at night we need to be in somewhere already protected check it bro oh i got him okay we're getting some meat 1.1 kilometers Get them while they're down. Aim for the head. Let's go. Let's uh, upgrade some traits, huh? We got four points available. We're going to go strength for sure right away. We're going to go into Pummel Pete. Specialize in knocking your foes senseless with clubs and bats. We definitely want to do that. But to start, you know, I feel like I kind of need to be kind of strong. So uh, we're going to go sexual Tyrannosaurus. And let's just take strength up uh, one more. Okay, we're going to go to the big city. That's where the mortuary is at. Let's go, buddy. You know, the crazy part about the mortuary is it's all the way on the back side of the city. Ah. Oh, you know what? We're going to hit that stump, too, because uh, the stump has a chance of giving us some honey. So if we get infected, the honey helps get rid of the infection. We definitely want to have some honey. Sports bags. Hey, let's go. Some better armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a dog. I do not want to fight a dog right now. Dogs are super deadly, especially at the beginning. I don't want to mess with it. Let's go ahead and make 59 arrows. Time I'm worried about. We only have eight hours and 20 minutes of in-game time to uh, get the mortuary cleaned out. I don't see that happening. If we went straight there, yeah, we could probably get it done. But we're not going to go straight there. We're going to visit the trader real quick. All right, let's go visit. Let's go ahead and get this uh, chemistry set. Hey, a beaker! Workbench. Got some iron, cement, got some crushed sand. There's a zombie right out there. That's what's making the noise. Oh, it's over there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't think zombies were allowed to go in the trader. What? I didn't know they were allowed to go in. Is it because I left the door open? But still, I didn't think they were allowed to come in here. Okay, well, what you think is safe isn't safe. Let me look at the map and see which direction we're supposed to go. I think we go all the way down here. I think this is the road over here that we need to take to the mortuary. Look at this guy, he's jumping. What the heck? What's this guy's deal? We have less than eight hours. Actually, we have less than seven hours to get to our destination. All right, here real soon, you're gonna find uh, spots that were inside the trailer. Again, if you haven't seen the trailer, go take a look at it. Check it out. It explains why we're in the mortuary in just a little bit. Dude, you're trying to lead me somewhere bad. Stop that. This is the area down here where I ran out into the sunlight in the trailer. From the trailer, way over there is where it started. We came running all the way across here. This was the school that we ran across right this way and then right around that side of the bus. This was the house that I entered and uh, found out that, hey, there's seven zombies in there. We ran around this tree. We're just going to go fight this guy. 
And this is the mortuary house. Let's put down the bedroll. If we die, we'll spawn right there. The more stuff you do, the more heat you bring, the more the zombies will know where you're at. I'm hearing one. There we go. We'll eventually want to replace that. Let's make a, uh, a chest. Let's just put it right by the opening to the door. We can put stuff in here that we're not going to need just right now. Let's make a bone knife. We're going to put a hatch right here to protect ourselves. Okay, so we can pull the hatch. Let's, uh, let's make it stronger though. Uh, let's not let any more zombies in. There's a dude right there. Finish him. All right, good deal. Oh no, now the body's in the way. Go away, body. Look at this disgusting. Oh god. Oh, I can collect the arrows. I got them back. All right. I didn't know that. Get out of here, buddy. Come on, despawn. I got stuff to do. I got less than three in-game hours. Get out of here, buddy. Actually, we're going to want to open it up from this side. Upgrade this sucker. It's got 750 hit points on it now. There's a bunch of zombies in this, in this room. Let's make it way stronger. Okay, I'll be able to drop that now. So we're going to run in here. We're going to turn around, run back out. We're going to drop this right there. We're going to stand on it and try to break out this 500 point deal up here. And we're going to bang away at their knees. They try to crawl through. Maybe they'll land in that little hole. He can't reach me from there. Oh, there's an... Oh, it got, how'd he reach me? That's, that's BS. So we got those cleared out. We'll leave this hatch here, so if we need to run back through, we can pull the hatch up. An hour and 20 minutes to clear out all the zombies. Let's not let it break out that uh, wall. Whoa, Jesus. Bro. Ow. Oh, man, he's got me dizzy. You get, uh... Oh, my God, he's, he's hurting me bad. Okay. I got all types of freaking things wrong with me right now. Oh, my God. See the bottom left hand side of the screen. Out! Dude, he almost killed me. What? I forgot to make sure that he was dead. Oh my god, we got no other first aid. Oh no. 38 hit points. Oh Jesus. Let's bang this out and put a hatch right there. can only get the hatches up to halfway because uh, we don't have the iron. Let's see if we can get some food. Hey, that was a little bit of iron, those tin cans. You know, I'm not feeling real confident right now. This is not good. Let's see what's in the shipping crate. Oh my God, we only have half hour. Okay, we're gonna need to make this into a room where we can stay right now. Let's shut that door. Let's fortify it. We're gonna put the hinge up. Now let's shut this door. Let's fortify this. Fortify that. Fortify the door. We're going to need to stay in here for the night. You notice we only have 13 minutes until 2200. So this is where we're going to stay. In the mortuary. In this room. Overnight. Then in the morning we will pick up and go down and fight the rest of the zombies. I am not going to go down and fight those zombies while they are feral. With yellow eyes or they have speed running for the night. There's a ton of them down there. Like I, I think seven or eight in one room. And uh, they'll just kill us. So we're going to stay up here. This is the end of the first episode, everybody. We'll finish getting the mortuary tomorrow. It's going to be a ton of fun. Thanks for watching this series so far. I'll see you real soon for episode two. Take it easy, everybody. See ya.